electromagnetic waves totally eight types but in our syllabus we have only seven types electromagnetic waves electromagnetic waves falls on a photographic plate it forms a spectrum means it forms a lines on a photographic spectrum when electromagnetic waves falls on a photographic plate it forms a lines on it it is called electromagnetic spectrum from that lines the electromagnetic wave are divided into seven types now what are that one electromagnetic waves are seven gamma rays are electromagnetic waves means not deviate in electric field and magnetic field its velocity is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second x rays it is also not deviate in an electric field and magnetic velocity is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second next ultraviolet rays it is also not deviates in electric field and magnetic field velocity of the light is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second visible rays these rays also not deviate in electric field and magnetic field velocity of the light is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second infrared rays ir rays these rays also not deviate in electric field and magnetic field velocity is equal to 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second microwaves these also not deviate in electric field and magnetic field velocity is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second and the last one is radio waves these waves also not deviate in electric field and magnetic field okay these rays all rays velocity is same all electromagnetic waves or all rays velocity is same that is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second all are not deviates in electric field and magnetic field now why we can take this is the order in this one from gamma rays to radio waves wavelength is increases based on the wavelength these rays are divided into seven types first gamma rays these rays are discovered by henry becquerel what is the wavelength of gamma rays less than 0.1 nanometer the gamma rays wavelength is less than 0.1 nanometer who are discovered these rays henry becker these rays are ejected from radioactive nuclei gamma rays are ejected from radioactive nuclei these rays are very harmful to living organs especially humans and animals if these rays are focused on the humans leads to cancer this is the problem of gamma rays gamma rays are very dangerous rays very harmful rays now this is about gamma rays next one is x rays the x ray wavelength is more than this x rays wavelength is 0.1 nanometers to 100 nanometers the wavelength of x rays is 0.1 nanometers to 100 nanometers who is discovered these x rays means scientist ranjan scientist ranjan is discovered x rays how we can get x rays these rays are ejected when high velocity of electron high velocity of electron strikes any target here target is metal high velocity of electron strikes the target any target 
from it x rays are ejected these rays are used in medical laboratory to identify fractured place of fractured place of bones and problems in lungs and kidneys if any person get the accident orthopedician immediately says bring the x ray film here the bone is fractured here the bone is fractured identify compulsory in the laboratory which we want to take x rays and not only that one any problem in lungs and kidneys especially for the ch child children in winter season the water may be formed in the lungs it is called by pneumonia disease and uh, some of the persons may be get the stones inside the kidneys what is the size of the kidney to identify doctor is suggested bring the x ray photograph that's why it is used in medical purpose and next these rays are used to treat the cancer patients as chemotherapy for cancer patients to treat them one method is there that is called by chemotherapy in the chemotherapy compulsor which are used x rays are used not only that x rays are used in the laboratory to identify the structure of the crystals identify the nine types of the gems it is a pure or a fake or original or fake diamond it is a original or duplicate or fake uh, diamond and another and nine types of uh, gems which we can used in the jewelries that is identified with the help of the x rays if uh, these rays are focused heavily the blood cells and uh, blood tissues are damage there is a chance to lead cancer also if uh, the blood cells and the blood tissues are damage more okay now the next one after x rays which rays are we are discussing now uv rays why the uv rays wavelength is more than this x rays wavelength is more than gamma rays ultraviolet rays wavelength is more than x rays what is the wavelength of ultraviolet rays ultraviolet rays shortcut uv rays its wavelength lies between 100 nanometers to 400 nanometers this is the wavelength of ultraviolet rays who is discovered these rays william herschel now how we can get ultraviolet rays these rays are ejected from atom when electron transmitted from higher orbital to lower orbit how we can get ultraviolet rays when electron transmitted from higher orbit to lower orbit these rays are ejected these rays are used to identify fake currency and documents in the banks they can immediately identify when the currency is given to him immediately they can put that in one machine that machine is identified immediately the fake currency why means in that one ultraviolet rays or bulb is used not only a fake currency the fake certificate and forgery signs the forger check forgery we can say that is also identified with the help of the h1 ultraviolet rays these rays are used to treat retina problem in eyes these rays are used to treat the retina problem in eyes next these rays are heavily focused on human bodies especially in the skin melanin is present that melanin undergoes damage okay this is about ultraviolet rays ultraviolet rays ejected from the welding spark 
that's why the welding person used some glasses when he was weld spark is ejected from that one also ultraviolet rays are ejected that is very dangerous for eyes also that's why ultraviolet rays are helpful to us and harmful to us and one more is there i am not written on the board ultraviolet rays are used if ultraviolet rays are focused especially in morning sunlight ultraviolet rays are ex- exist in the morning of sunlight and evening of sunlight ultraviolet rays are present if that are falls on our body vitamin d is deposited okay at this also i want to write another one ultraviolet rays now let us take another use ultraviolet rays falls in morning and evening of sunlight from sunlight evening evening time from sunlight is deposited in our body which strengthen which is strengthen the bones nowadays maximum all are getting vitamin d problem why they cannot play in ground in the morning and evening especially in the morning of sunlight in the evening of sunlight ultraviolet rays are exist that are focused on our body in our body what happen vitamin d is deposited okay this is the use of the h1 ultra violet rays number of uses are there for ultra violet rays just few i am written on the board